Wait, how the pirate is on the attack! What? When? Where? That scurvy dog won't take my ship without a fight! B -b -b battle stations! Oh, can it, Ricardo! We're gonna send that riding fruit bowl to Davy Jones' locker! Aye, aye, Capitan. But may I ask, who is this Davy Jones? And why is his locker located at the bottom of the sea? His gym shorts must be most soggy, which could lead to chafing of the tender regions. Stop yapping and start pirating! Ready, I fire! <laughs> How's that for a free lunch? Nah, nah, missed me. Uh, missed me again, and again. <clears throat> now he's really got me charged up. Well, what are you waiting for, Doc? Return fire! Eight saints, you pirate poopheads! <laughs> I can go all day! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> no one defeats pirate meathead! Oh. Hmm, refreshing! Time to break out the good cutlery! As my beloved grandmother used to say, there's no stank like pirate booty booty stank. It's garbage, get him! Give him everything we got! Charge! Prepare to be boarded! No one shipwrecked my ship but me! That's right! Shiver your timbers at the fearsome meathead, the pirate! Hello! Evil pirate talking! Oh, we're sunk. Thirty seconds, but who's counting? Ah, every food for himself. <laughs> Land ho! Land who? <sighs> Land here. Hola, landlubbers. I am the renowned and also irresistible a Capitan Ricardo. Welcome to my noble vessel, the SS Numero Dos. You call this soggy diaper a vessel? But of course, behold, the sails are made from the finest snotty tissue. Now, my delectably fragrant sea dogs, hoist the hairnet! So sweet, yet so dumb. The big net over the side, dump it on the poop deck, and be quick about it. You are wanting a ship. Well now, we have the greatest ship on the Yucky Mart Sea! Ooh, we got another bite! Well, what are you waiting for? Reel her in! What took you so long? I thought I'd never get rescued! Ooh, it's Meathead. Let's throw him back! No! Let me stay! I'll sweep the poop deck! I'll even poop first, then sweep it! <laughs> Unhand that sandwich! I, Capitan Ricardo, says that Meathead stays. Oh yeah? Well, I say he goes! This tub needs a new captain! And my wood-fired crust and delicious four-cheese blend make me the perfect choice. So it's mutiny! I will see you walk the plank for this, my foolish friend. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oops! My bad! Our hands on deck! Start bailing! Ah! Plug that hole! I am too handsome to be waterlogged!
Mutiny's over, Pizza Breath! Now walk the plank! <laughs> Your betrayal cuts me to my beer. But perhaps we are too harsh, eh? My new companion? Yeah, why don't we talk about this over a slice? My treat. Let me think. Nah. Sorry, matey. It's the law of the Yucky Marcy. <laughs> I will have revenge! Huh? You! <laughs> get away, figures! This pizza ain't for nibbling! That is what you get for messing with the masterful Capitan Ricardo. Right? First mate, meathead? Actually, I only saved the ship so I can take over. <laughs> As of now, this ship belongs to Meathead the Pirate. <laughs> and you're me squishy crew, Ricardo. Yar! Now hoist the pirate flag. Aye, aye, oh brutish one. Swab that poopy desk. Hoist the snot sail. That too. Give me some refreshing juice. And it better not be kiwi. Raspberry onion, my favorite. Now scrape those barnacles off the hole. I do not think that is a barnacle. It's Doc Brock. Same diff, scrape him off too. Oh, come on! Fine, there's plenty of other ships in the sea. That takes care of that. Yeah! Enemy ship! Full speed ahead, Ricardo! Prepare for battle! Yar! Aye, aye, my capitan. Arr! the law of the Chucky Mark C. Buenas noches! Afraid of the dark. Hey, Ricardo! How's a new job? It's a living, my footlong friend. How do you like that? Ricardo hopped on the soda. Quit slacking, Ricardo. I'm paying you to do odd jobs. The odder, the better. Not to stand around blabbing with riffraff. Now get to work. <laughs> Baroo! Ricardo, stick your tongue on that fly zapper. Thank you, but no. I'm on a strict no insect diet. Do it or you're fired. Very well. Since you asked me so nicely. Ah, ah, ooh, ah, ah, did I say fired? I meant fried. I dropped a tooth in there. Find it for me. 
As you wish, boss. Blah! Hey, what is this? A blotto ticket? Perhaps my lock is about to change. Huh? Blotto ticket? ticket? Mine! Oh, mine! Yeah, you get it! Actually, the ticket is mine. You see, the finder is the keeper, and the losers are the weepers, who get fired and flushed. <laughs> Dollar blotto ticket question. What are you waiting for, Ricardo? You want to be a squishy toilet brush for the rest of your life? Blessed mamacita of chance! My ticket is the big winner! Oof. Mm, mm, mm. I am no longer what the poets call flat broke. Enough celebrating! Now that you're filthy rich, you gotta learn how to look and act rich and filthy. And I'm just a classy guy to show you how it's done. For starters, you're way too pale. Wealthy folks love their fake tastes. Hmm, this tan does not smell fake. It smells banana-y. Whoops, better turn up the heat. We're late for your hair appointment. But I do not have hair. You do now. <laughs> no, not even. Oh, boy. No. <laughs> uh-uh. Perfect. Some unnatural color. And a spritz to achieve maximum helmet hair. A tornado couldn't undo that, too. As I always say, the peel makes the banana. Ah! I'm in my banana birthday suit. Hey, who is this dashing fruit? And what has he done with Ricardo? Now for the icing on the cake. Aftershave. I mixed it myself out of prune juice, pine air freshener, and rusty pipe water. Oh, yes. I positively reek of success. I am a new banana! Now be gone, ah. peasants! I am too rich to associate with the oh, likes of you! Oh, oh, oh. I taught him everything he knows! So proud! <laughs> sun under a blazing tropical heat lamp. Gaze upon the most gl glittery jewelry in the entire Yucky Mart. But that's nothing compared to the squishy towers. A colossal condo of double ply toilet paper. Or the double squish ranch and its herd of thoroughbred race roaches. W welcome to Lifestyles of the Rich and the Disgusting. I'm your host, Serge. All these wonders are owned by the world's richest banana, Ricardo! His peel to riches tale is the stuff of legend. Join me now for a peek at R Ricardo's high-priced, trend-setting lifestyle. Ah, muy picante. Let the interview begin. Ricardo, you live a life of glitzy gluttony. What more could an overripe tropical fruit ask for? Excellent question, my television companion, but definitely not my real-life friend. What more could I ask for? Hey, how about my pedicure over here? Right away, boss. Gotta keep those rich, rich tootsies trimmed. <laughs> I have many rich banana things to do, but still I stay in touch with the little people. Like this ever-ripening fellow. Don't give me that hoity-toity fancy talk. I was rich before your bunch even fell out of the tree. <laughs> I had it all. Friends, music, and all the stale chocolate coins you could eat. <laughs> but I lost it all. 
Betrayed by my best pal and my best gal. <laughs> what I'm saying is, don't trust nobody. Excellent advice. Everybody out! <laughs> Too bad, so sad. Come back when you're rich like me. I'm not sure that's the moral of my story. Or is it? It's the grocery gang. Shopping? It's going rotten. Storing. Putrid Pizza as Pizza Face. Chocolate as Doc Brock. Rotten Egg as Egghead. Sticky Soda as Sparkles. And Dodgy Donut as Rocky. It's where your shopping's gone rotten. You're the grocery gang, gang from the Yaki Mart store. Focus, team. We hit that slushy handle right there, and we'll have a very, very tsunami on our hands. Yeah, hit me with that wave of flavor. Doc Brock, you ready to fire the next round? Twanky, locked and loaded, sir. Let's do this. Yeah! yeah! Feel my wrath. <laughs> That's your wrath? Well, let's see you try it. Ha! Pizza cake! <laughs> Get it? Pizza cake? I kill me! Just fire the juice box. Juice box! Juice box! Juice box! Juice box! Juice box! Juice box. Whoa! <laughs> ah! I want that slushy storm! I don't remember slingshotting Egghead. I was the one yelling, no, stop, don't. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> well, team, there's only one thing to do when life gives you a mountain of crud. Go mountain climbing! Grocery gang. Shopping? It's going rotten. Storing. Putrid Pizza as Pizza Face. Chocolate as Doc Brock. Rotten Egg as Egghead. Sticky Soda as Sparkles. And Dodgy Donut as Rocky. It's where your shopping's gone rotten. You're the grocery gang from the Yakimart store. Team? We're gonna be the first explorers in history to climb all the way to the top of Mount Yuck. Are you ready? Yeah! And why are we climbing Mount Yuck? Cool new kinds of frostbite? Coloring our cheeks? Hopefully green? To find Rocky? No! Because it's there! Uh, I mean this. Let's do this! Yeah! <laughs> Journal. Day one, the hike is brutal. The team is showing fatigue. The glorious speech at base camp is but a distant memory now. These have been the most grueling five minutes of my life. <sighs> if we're ever gonna make it to the top, we'll need some encouragement. Yeah. Oh, got some right here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that worked. Oh, what about me? Ah! 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 
Journal, day five. Every day has been a new challenge. We chopped our way across crusty coleslaw chasm. We ran across Corn Chip Ridge. Finally, we reached the great dirty tissue divide. Help me. Stay in the middle of the flypaper. It's too sticky. I can't make it. Step on their heads. It's the only way. Ow, right in the compound eye. Sorry. Whoa! Sparkles! No! I'm just right here. Can you help? Oh, <laughs> hey, sure. Yeah! <laughs> we made it! There's only one proper way to celebrate this in the manner of their greatest Swiss mountaineers. With a victory yodel! Yodel! <laughs> Excuse me. No, Pizza, that wasn't your lunch. The yodeling caused Gang. Shopping? It's going rotten. rotten! Starring Putrid Pizza as Pizza Face, Shockily as Doc Brock, Rotten Egg as Egghead, Sticky Soda as Sparkles, and Dodgy Donut as Rocky. It's where your shopping's gone rotten. You're the grocery, grocery gang from the Yaki Mart store! store. Let's recap. We were trying to throw food at the slushy machine, but missed and made a vast mountain of crud, which we then decided to climb because... Because it's there! Then we survived rotten coleslaw, sharp chips, and flypaper, but were washed away in an avalanche of nacho cheese. I think we can say... Greatest, greatest day of our lives! <laughs> Wait, we're sparkles! <laughs> <laughs> Budger! I have an idea. Follow my lead. Hey, Sparkles, your soda is flatter than a pancake at a steamroller derby. <laughs> yeah! Your get up and go got up and win! <laughs> the water that drips out of the air conditioner has more fizz than you! <laughs> Lasso, quick! Hmm, tuna fish. been this high. <laughs> what was that? I said this high. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Thanks, Sparkles. We knew you had it in you. So you weren't being jerks for no good reason? Nope. For a very good reason. We were trying to get a rise out of you. And it looks like the rise was about a mile. And there's the top! <laughs> in a few minutes, we'll reach the sub... <laughs> In what? Oh. What's up with Pizza Face? Hmm, I read about this in a science journal. Or maybe a comic strip. Pizza Face is unconsciously afraid of heights. Afraid of? Shh! Don't tell him, or he'll become paralyzed with fear. As long as we don't go too high too fast, we'll be fine. Ah! Smell that fresh mountain! <laughs> Did I say we'll be fine? I meant, we'll be goners! No! At least we're not too high up now. 